This smooth flowing movement is a cornerstone of your development when learning to ride a surfboard. It's an amazing feeling to fully commit to a turn like this. And mastering all aspects of these techniques will not just provide you with a way of changing direction, but ultimately it's the foundation for the turns you'll make on the bottom and top of a wave. Changing your feet is an important aspect of these techniques. Even if it's not directly necessary for riding waves, it is essential if you want to understand how the kite impacts your body and its weight distribution on the board. And as you progress, a quick foot change will allow you to catch far more waves. You may be confident performing carving turns on your twin tip, and this will definitely help on your surfboard, particularly with the timings between the board and kite. But lose the straps, and you will find things become a bit more tricky. Carving turns are incredibly technical, with lots going on. Hence why we have dedicated four in-depth videos to this technique. You can either change your feet first, before carving the board. What we call a toe side to heel side carve. Or you can change your feet after the carve. A heel side to toe side carve. For both, you can do them as jibes, with less aggressive kite movement and at lower speeds. And as you improve, you'll be able to start entering with more speed, flying the kite quicker and edging harder to perform powered carving turns. Toe side to hillside. The toe side to hillside jibe is good when you are heading out and need to turn onto a weight and want to be set up ready to ride front side. Increase the power and speed, and that first carve can be your first or only hit on the wave face. It's also a good way to quickly turn around in underpowered conditions, where you want to get the unstable part of changing your feet out of the way, whilst you already have speed, rather than on the exit, when you may already have lost speed and there's little power from the kite. And when you start looking to ride waves, more speed and power will make the toe side to heel side carve the basis of your bottom turn when you're riding backside. Heel side to toe side. The second option is changing your feet after the turn. The heel side to toe side carve. Here you might continue riding toe side if you're on a wave and hitting it backside. or you can change your feet as part of the turn or shortly after. When riding waves frontside, the heelside to toe side powered car is essentially your bottom turn technique. It also allows for a full speed turn and with some timely footwork, can allow you to keep your board trimmed and at full speed throughout. The progressions. We'll tackle both versions of the carving turn two progressions. First the jibe. It's just about getting round, staying dry and maintaining some amount of speed. Here we're particularly focused on the foot change, an area that many people struggle with and for strap riders often avoided at the expense of less control and upwind ability when always riding toe side on one tack. Then we'll move on to the more dramatic movements of the kite and harder edging, giving you powerful carving turns, which takes you towards that bottom turn technique and closer to attacking your first waves. There are many common elements shared between all four of these progressions. You'll no doubt notice some of that repetition, but hopefully start to identify the subtle differences required to master each. regular and goofy. When learning to jive or carve, you'll find it easier to focus on your stronger side first. If you are regular, 
you'll find it easier to first try calves with your left foot forwards. Goofy riders should start with their right foot forwards. That doesn't mean you shouldn't practice on your weaker stance. And if you want to ride switch when riding waves, then it's more important than ever to practice your weaker calves so you have control when you get on a wave. All the carving turn videos are available in both regular and goofy footed versions. Unsure if you're regular or goofy? Check out our Surfing Stance Regular or Goofy video, available here for free in the Progression Player for a better understanding of this terminology. Available free online. Riding strapped. For those strapped riders that find jibing harder, this is usually due to the foot change. You might think this is because of the foot straps getting in the way, but you'd be mistaken. Put any rider who's experienced riding strapless on a strap board and the straps don't get in the way at all. If you are a strapped rider and struggle with the foot change, this is understandable as you're used to riding a board with your feet securely locked to it. Once you try and take your feet out of the straps and move around, it's easy to lose control of the board. Once again, if you want to ride strapped, some practice riding strapless will improve your board control and give you the confidence and skills to change your feet effortlessly. Check out the strapped or strapless video, available here for free in the progression player, for a better understanding of the differences between these two board setups. Prerequisites and ideal conditions. You'll want to start attempting the basic jibes very soon after your first runs on a surfboard. And to give yourself the best chance of success, ensure you can first comfortably ride along reasonably well powered up. If you are underpowered, you'll struggle as all the techniques will need to be far more precise if you hope to get round dry and with speed. When you are ready to step up to the powered calves, then you obviously need to be able to ride faster by generating and handling more power from the kite. Check out the riding and control videos available here in the progression player to ensure you've mastered the basic skills required to truly take your surfboard riding forwards. You will find it far easier to practice jibing in flatter water without the stress of negotiating waves. It's also great to get your powered carving turns under control in really choppy conditions. This will set you up for when you start bottom turning on waves, where the wave face is often far from smooth. A great way to speed up your progression is to try stringing together one turn after the other after the other. So once you have the basics down, take a long trip upwind and then carve away, flowing from one turn into the next. This is just an intro to the Carving Turns collection. Get the full collection or the individual videos in the progression player. Browse our playlist of kite surfing videos or the full kite surfing trailer for everything from surfboard water start to connecting turns. Progression kite surfing. Learn to ride waves the right way.